Welcome to Forensic Detectors. Today we are calibrating our oxygen detector, folks. Our oxygen detector, FD90A, our most popular oxygen detector. So, Dr. Cos, how do we calibrate this thing? Well, folks, when you pop it out of the box and turn it on, make sure it's reading 20.9. Air has 20.9% of oxygen. So before you begin anything, you have to make sure that display is reading 20.9. To do so, we calibrate to fresh air. Bang, go to your menu, press enter, calibrate. The password is quadruple eight, quadruple eight. Enter, it tells you, what do you wanna to calibrate to? Air, 20.9, great, press next, save, and bang, you have 20.9 being displayed on your monitor. Folks, very easy. That's the way we do 99% of all calibrations, especially if you're out there. Now, for folks that send their monitors in and want a technical calibration, both points, zero and fresh air, we first have to expose it to nitrogen with our guest regulator, tubing, and our cap. And we have to do the zero calibration, folks. The way we do that is we just go to our zero calibration, press, expose it first, of course, to zero. We don't want to press save just yet. We want to take it all the way to zero and make sure it's reading zero. Okay, folks, that's the way we do it. And again, this is a technical calibration. Always do the zero calibration first, okay? And then you have to go back and do the air, the fresh air calibration. You have to give it about 60 seconds. Let me come back. Okay, folks, that's been at over 60 seconds. It's ceiling down to 0.1%. That's the lowest it's gonna get. So that 0.1% represents total zeroness for this detector. Therefore, we press save. It gives it a full zero, and that means we have calibrated this to the zero level, as you could see here. Now, take that off, turn that off, and it's gonna climb back up to about 20.9%. There may be a slight error because the baseline was a little bit off, but at that point when it's stabilized and give it several minutes now because the recovery time on all these detectors it's much 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 longer than the response time okay because all the air has to diffuse in there naturally diffuse and replace it with fresh air so it's going to take a while we're not forcing it in now now it's natural diffusion which takes a while so It'll climb up to about 20.8, maybe 20.7. At that point, you go again with the calibration as we first have done so in the video initially. That's the way we do it, folks. It's pretty straightforward. Have a great day.